What's going on guys? I'm back, baby. Did you miss me? Ooh, what's going on YouTube? My name is Chris and welcome to Mod Monday. Mod Monday is the series where I show you tips, tricks, and helpful hints to up your modding game. In today's episode of Mod Monday, we're gonna be talking about the Hot Air Rework Station. Today I'm gonna to show you how to use it and how not to get burned, quite literally. I mean, you could light yourself on fire with one of these things. Be careful. While working on mods such as the LCD side panel, AKA Snowblind mod, or the Wii U USB internal storage mod, I discovered that I do a lot of work with print circuit boards. And when it comes to working with print circuit boards, a standard soldering iron can only take you so far. There are many other chips and components that require the use of a hot air rework station. Now, what can you do with a hot air rework station? You can remove components from the surface of a print circuit board. You can reheat cold soldering joints. You can also add heat shrink to wiring, but I've learned that I could also do that with a soldering iron as well. So I guess that's not really an original idea. But the hot air rework station has multiple uses. And one of the uses that I use it for is removing components that I don't need from print circuit boards. Like for example, when I was doing the Wii U USB mod, I wish that I'd had a hot air rework station when I was originally going to remove the USB connector. However, in the final video, I decided to leave the connector on as it was much easier to work with than it was to remove the connector. When I tried to remove the USB connector from the PCB, I had actually removed the solder pads. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. When I removed the solder pads, I was unable to reuse them. I tried to cut traces into the PCB, but with little to no success. Had I possessed a hot air rework station at the time, I might have been able to complete the mod as I intended by wiring the USB thumb drive directly without having to use the USB port. And I'll give you another example. In my Snowblind mod, there were many surface components such as USB ports on the logic board that powered the LCD. Now I didn't need these ports and I wanted to get rid of them as they could instantly ground to my case and cause a short circuit. The problem was that a soldering iron was simply not hot enough and not capable enough of removing these components. And that's where the hot air rework station came into play. So let's dive in and find out just how to use this hot air station. In case you hadn't noticed by now, the model that I'll be using for this demonstration is the 858D. With the flip of the power switch, you'll see the LCD temperature begin to light up. The recommended settings for this hot air station are about 300 degrees Fahrenheit and about four to four and a half on the blower. But I'll be increasing the temperature to 340 to get it just a little bit hotter to melt the solder. You may even want to use higher temperatures depending on the type of solder that you're using for the job. Now, just like the soldering iron, you're gonna to want to hold this tool like a pencil and this is to ensure that you don't block the air intake for the blower. Now this hot air station comes with three interchangeable nozzles. I'm going to be using the middle nozzle for this demonstration, but depending on the job that you're going to do, you're going to want to choose the appropriate size nozzle. After a period of time, the temperature will begin to decrease if the hot air tool is in its holster. There are actually two reasons for this. One is so that you don't melt or light anything on fire when you're not using the tool. The second reason is to allow the tool to cool down while the blower is still on, and this will preserve the longevity of the heat heating element inside of the tool. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to remove the USB ports from the logic board of an LCD monitor. This logic board is from a Dell 1908 FP monitor, which is the monitor that I use for my LCD side panel snowblind mod. To make removal of the USB ports even easier, I'm going to use my soldering iron to remove the excess solder. If you need a hand with this next step, I recommend two of them. You can buy a pair of helping hands off of Amazon using the affiliate link in the video description below. You're gonna apply the heat by moving the tool in small circles. With the other hand, use tweezers or some sort of pry tool to help remove the piece. The USB port is almost off. It's still kind of just dangling on there. Now don't yank with the pry tools. Let the hot air tool do the work.
And there we have it, our USB Type B port in all of its blurry, unfocused glory. All in all, the A58D has a lot of great things going for it. First of all, it's incredibly cheap. You can pick these up on Amazon or on eBay at a very affordable price. Second of all, they're superfluous. There are a lot of 858D generic models available and plenty of reviews on YouTube. Is it the best hot air rework station? No, of course not. But for the price, it gets the job done. If you're gonna be doing a lot of PCB work, I'd actually recommend getting a hot air slash soldering combination station. But for beginners that are just starting out, this is actually not a bad unit. And overall, I'd recommend this as a wonderful addition to your lab. Thank you so much for checking out this video, and if you enjoyed it, make sure you slap that like button below and share the video. And while you're at it, why not join the Modern Nation and get subscribed by clicking on that subscribe button below. And hey, when you do, don't forget to click on the bell icon inside the button to be notified the moment that I release new videos. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them for me in the comment section below, or why not hit me up on social media? I'd love to hear from you guys. And when you buy products from Amazon, consider using the affiliate links in the video description below. Thank you again so much for watching, and I will see ya.